Purple. Yellow. Blue. Red. Blue. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In this episode, we'll be heading into Bubble Gloop Swamp. Actually, it's one of my favorite levels in this game, and I'm going to let you know why in a second. Because in a second is actually we're about to find the move for this world pretty much instantly. He's like, keep your eyes out for my new move, and it's right back here. Now, if you would have done this normally, you would have gone up here, and you can't really do too much until you get these, so it's kind of mean that they actually put this move back here, because when I was a kid, I actually had trouble finding it. Damn you, Rare! These are the wading boots. Chicken Leg wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken. Er, Kazooie. Let's grab a pair. Great! Now you know all the swamp's new moves, and that's basically it. They also put eggs back here for Croctus, and you're gonna find out who that is in a second. At least, I think that's his name. You're gonna have these little, I don't know, metal alligators? No, I don't want- no! There we go. Yummy! Croctus like that! And basically what's gonna happen is you shoot an egg into its mouth, and he's gonna go to a different location. And actually, I think it's supposed to be like his friends or his brothers or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. If you go up here, there are red feathers, and we do not need them. Honestly, I don't know why they give you red feathers in this level, because you actually don't use them. Now, really, the only reason you'd need the waiting boots right here is to get this Mobo token back there. And because, you know, we're OCD like that, we have to get it. And then once you get up here, you can just press B, and you'll be out of the boots. See, my biggest problem with the waiting boots, and this is really stupid and weird, is the fact that it's not in tempo with the song that's playing, or when Kazooie's clucking, or whatever. I'll, I'll show you when we get back into the waiting boots again, because it's gonna be really fast, or really soon. Don't land in the swamp, because if you do, there are piranhas, and they will take, you know, health away from you. Now, before we go over here and do this, you're probably like, oh man, Dylan, you need to hit that thing we're actually going to go to the left first because there's a really easy jiggy that we can get along with some notes. And I think... I don't remember what else you can get with it. But you have to be careful of these frogs because if you try to get on the boots, uh, they will jump into you and knock you out because they are assholes. Pretty much. Now anyways, the reason that I like this level is because when I was a kid I actually grew up pretty close to a swamp. And I just kind of... I liked it. I was like, oh man, alligators and snakes. And you know, now I'm absolutely petrified of snake. Get up there! Absolutely terrified of snakes. So you find this giant egg over here. God knows why there's a giant egg over here. But if you jump up top, you'll notice that there's a little thingy that we can hit as well as an extra- No, I didn't- Oh. I didn't think they'd let me get it again. Okay, well, that works out. So this is basically just like, uh, what was that one? There was one that we did this for. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember, but there was something that we did this for, wasn't there? Wow, I've played this game like 20 times in my life and I've actually forgotten. That's kind of pathetic. So what you want to do is wait for the little leaf to get back here and get about halfway through. And you can jump onto this and a free easy mumbo token. You'll notice that when you land down here, the pad just got over here. So getting that is basically taking the exact same amount of time as just standing there. So it's pretty freaking awesome. Now, if you go over here, we're gonna have our first little challenge of the world. And a lot of people have problems with this, and I have to admit that I struggled with it too, and hopefully I won't fall when I'm doing it. What you have to do is race against the clock, and it's really tempting to just get everything on here. But trust me, just go into Banjo's form and hold down the R button. And do not try to use Kazooie or go too fast, because they give you plenty enough time to do this, but you just want to be careful so you don't fall off, because right over here is where it gets pretty dang tricky. And to be completely honest, I can't believe I didn't fall off of that, because when I was practicing this level, I think I fell off like 20 times. I'm not even joking. I was like, oh, I hope that doesn't happen when I'm actually recording, and I almost fell off right there. So you'll notice that Croctus is up here, as well as a green Jinjo. I love the Jinjos. The Jinjos were always so happy when I was a kid. I'd always be like, I found a Jinjo! I'm saving someone! I feel so happy! Of course, I said it in that voice, too. 
Because that's how all kids talk, apparently. Oh! Almost fell. Didn't want to fall. Oh, my back scratches. Wait, itches. Scratches. What the hell? I need to learn the English language again. I'm retarded. Go, 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 go! Oh. There we go. So we're actually going to be going to this location first. The best thing I found to do in in this is to just follow where Croctus is going. And before we go down there, we're actually going to go back over here because we have another little challenge that we can do. And this is going to require us to do... Well, there's a couple of different ways that we could approach this, but I'm just going to go and do it the really easy way. Er, an ugly hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. And this is actually pretty difficult because I think these guys take two hits to kill and so if you don't use the gold feathers and you apparently have no slowdown you do amazing blub you're too tough for us flippets take our gold and that's pretty much the easiest way that you can do that right there so there we go two jiggies or wait three jiggies and we're only about six minutes in so that's pretty freaking awesome now the way that Croctus went you'll notice that there are Three different paths that we can take. We can go to the left, where there's a giant crocodile thing, and that is gonna be hell, trust me. We can go over to where there's a giant turtle, or we can go straight, which is probably the least cool way to go, but that's where we're gonna go, because we're hipsters like that, yo. Because this is actually where Croctus went, as well as the switch switch for this world. It's pretty easy, all you have to do is just, you know, do the beak buster on these little huts, and then a jump pad appears. But, there is a couple of secrets up here, and I remember when I was a kid, I didn't find the one. And I think it screwed me up really bad. Well, I mean, because I was trying to 100% this game when I was a kid. Well now, looks like a hat has been broken, but I... How will we get there, my friends? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Of course, I obviously know how to get there, but I'm just... I'm trying to include you guys in my adventures. So what you can do right here... Just jump up, and there we go, another mumbo token. Now we only need 20 for this world, and as you can see we're already, we already have more than we need, but we're gonna keep getting more because we are mumbo token whores. Now this right here actually screwed me up because I didn't notice that there was one back here. So you know when I was a kid I was trying to get it all, I was like, where is that last jiggy? And of course I found it here. And it's really misleading too because you know they put a witch switch over here, they put Croctus here, you're like, well, there's probably nothing else. Uh-oh, am I gonna make- yeah, I'm gonna make that. And you know, I'm like, well, there's obviously nothing else, so I just leave, and then I am screwed. So now, we can just have the two paths to go, but we're actually gonna go to the right. And we're not gonna do everything over here, we're just gonna get Croctus and a couple of other things, because, actually, this right here requires a transformation for the world. And I really hate this. I'm pretty sure everyone that has played this game dislikes this right here. Get, get up, God, Kazooie. Get up. I just made <laughs> you. I don't like you anymore, Kazooie. I'm sorry. See, there's waiting boots back up here, and normally, if you're with Kazooie, you can just jump up there and get it super easily. But apparently, it's not. Oh, I am surprised he didn't hit me. Apparently, it's not working this time. So you could use gold feathers back here, or you could be cool like me, and you could use the waiting boots because. I've always found it easier to use the waiting boots. You just have to be careful that you get up here because he's gonna hit you! But you can kill- Oh! You can, there we go! You can kill him right after. Get a free gold feather and... Our third Jinjo of the video. It's pretty crazy. We're actually going by really fast in this level. Or world. What am I saying? Three notes up here, and if you need more gold feathers for whatever reason, there's three over there, but of course I don't need them. Because I'm obviously Jesus here, you know, all that good stuff. I'm just so good at this game. And this guy right here. If you don't kill him, he's gonna be a douchebag. Now when he hits you, he actually laughs at you, and when I was a kid, that used to piss me off so bad. It's like, bitch, get over here. And so you'll notice the way that I did the Croctus things is that if I had gone over to where the turtle was at, we would have had one, we would have had to come all the way over here to get the blue one, and then we had to go all the way back to where the turtle's at. I don't know how the piranhas didn't bite my feet there, and it just would have been a waste of time. So I'm trying to do it this, I'm trying to do this the most efficient way possible. Because I want to keep every video under 15 minutes, and here we are showing a very weird way to complete this. Oh, my feet are so numb and cold. 
Well, obviously the rare's answer to doing. Damn you, computer, I swear. It went black again. <laughs> rare's answer to doing this is by stomping on his feet. And he's he's just letting out this death freaking shrieking scream. I feel so bad when I stomp on his feet. Oh! Apparently it's helping him. I don't know how, but there you go. And he coughs up a jiggy, and mmm, tank tub's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. And see, Rare wasn't done with that. They were like, once you smash his feet, you're also gonna go inside of him. That is what she said. Now, personally, I'd like to just come over here after I get that Jinjo. And... Oh, how did I not hit him? Why you no die? Thank you. No. There we go. And there is our... Fifth Jiggy. I thought it was fifth. I wasn't sure. Although that pause was slightly... Oh, wait, we're gonna get our sixth one also. And here's our sixth Jiggy. <laughs> As you can see, I... I've played this game a lot, so I kind of know the best ways to go. <laughs> Although I don't know I don't know all the best ways, but on some levels I do know it far better than others. And don't forget because you have to be careful when you go in here because there's a couple things you can miss, some pretty important ones, of course the three notes on each side, but there's something even more important that I'm not going to show you until the end. Quiet please, the famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson uno. I have so many problems with this. Okay, I got that one. And then it was blue. And then it was... No, it was red. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson dos. Ugh. Purple, blue, purple, blue, purple. Really? Really? Okay. Purple. Blue. Purple. I'm so I swear to God, it's never this easy. I swear. Watch the last one's gonna be ridiculous. Ah, splendid! You just need one more lesson. Purple, yellow, blue, red, blue. Oh, shit. oh, I forgot. Uh, purple, yellow, blue, red. Was it red? Red? Blue? Purple? No, it wasn't purple! Wait, it was yellow? <gasps> and then it was purple! No, then it was red! Please be red! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Magnificent! A true masterpiece! Here, take this trinket I found earlier! I honestly can't believe I got that. Well, of course I had to screw up like five times, but I still got it. <laughs> um, nom. So, that's the only thing that you can do in here. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. But if you go behind him, sneaky, you can boke him, and something even sneakier, which a lot of people miss, is this. Now that really screwed me up too when I was a kid, and even when I was doing my practice playthrough a couple months ago and I didn't... You know, when I was just kind of like playing the game for chilling... Ch chilling? What? When I was playing the game to have fun, I swear to god, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Yeah, but anyways, we're just gonna go up here and then we're gonna end the video. Because now we can actually go and get the transformation for this world. Which is gonna be freaking awesome! It's probably my second favorite transformation. You gotta be careful because there's one of these nasty things right here. I don't know what these are supposed to be, but they're creepy. So anyways guys, 
Thank you so much for watching the video. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next episode. My name is... Banana Pie Lord. <laughs>